All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to give you two very cool proofs of the quotient rule, or as I like to call it, the quotient loop. And by the way, I've done something similar before, but this time let's do it in English. So, for my first magic trick, I will prove the quotient rule by using the product rule. How cool is that? Because let h be f over g, and ultimately we want to find h prime. But here's a cool trick. How about you cross multiply? Then what we get is that f is hg, and now let's differentiate this. So then f prime is hg prime, and using now the Prada loop, we get f prime is h prime g plus hg prime. But the nice thing is, this is an equation that we can solve for h prime, remember, because we ultimately want to find the derivative of f over g. And so then what we get is h prime g is f prime minus h g prime, and so h prime that's f prime minus h g prime over g. All right, and now let's just use the definition of h. So h is f over g. So h prime is f over g prime, and that's f prime minus f over g times g prime over g. And now just put it on a common denominator, and what we get is f prime g over g minus f g prime over g over g. And in the end, the beautiful thing is, it gives you precisely the quotient loop. So f prime g minus f g prime over g squared. How cool is that? Which, again, kind of shows the product rule, the Prada loop, is more powerful than the quotient rule, because we used Prada to prove quotient. More nicely, we can even use the Chen Lu to prove the quotient rule. And here's how. And for my next magic trick, we will not use the Prada Lu to prove the quotient rule. We will use the Chen Lu to use the quotient rule. So, which again shows you Chen Lu is better than quotient rule. All right, so here, consider again f over g. And how about we apply ln to this? Then ln of f over g, that becomes ln of f minus ln of g. And small disclaimer, so this proof only works if f and g have the same sign. Otherwise, you take ln of negative numbers. So it's slightly weaker than the usual proof. And now, how about we take derivatives on both sides? Then ln of f over g prime, that's ln of f minus f ln of g prime. And now using the Chen Lu, because it is a prime example of the Chen Lu, we get f over g, so f over g prime over f over g equals f prime over f minus g prime over g. And notice you can just put this on a common denominator and we get f prime g minus g prime f over f g. All right, very good. And now just multiply both sides by f over g and you ultimately get f over g prime equals f over g times f prime g minus uh, g prime f over f g. All right, and now let's put everything here. So f, f prime g minus g prime f f. <laughs> Press f f to pay respects. And we get f, or I guess g f g, why not? And the beautiful thing is, so all the f's here cancel out. So this cancels out and this cancels out. And in the end, we do have what we want, f prime g minus f g prime over g squared. Again, how cool is that? So that we can actually use one rule to prove the other one. It's quite neat. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.